finding the slope maze, finding the slope from a table. So your paper has more directions. If you look at the top of your paper, it says for each table, choose two ordered pairs, an X and a Y to find the slope. You will use the formula M equals Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So I'm gonna write that formula here at the top of my paper. All right, and then if we get one that is undefined or zero, and those are options, this word right here on says undefined, and this one says undefined, so there might be one of those. Okay, so when you're choosing your ordered pairs, you can choose any ordered pair. So in the first one, I'm going to choose negative 1, 6 and positive 1, 12. So negative 1, 6 is my first ordered pair, and 1, 12 is my next ordered pair. And this will be my x1, and this will be my y1, this will be my x2, and this is my y2. So I'm going to plug into my formula. I need my fraction bar, my two subtraction signs. So now I want my y2. My y2 is 12, so that goes there. And I need my y1 in my upper right, so that is positive 6, so that will go there. Then on bottom, I need my x2. x2 is 1, so that goes here. And I need my x1, which is negative 1. That goes in the bottom right. Now I'm ready to use my rules. So 12 minus 6 on top is 6. And 1 minus negative 1, that would be keep, change, change. 1 plus 1, that gives me 2. And 6 divided by 2, I'm going to rewrite that. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So the slope for number 1 is 3. And you can see that the maze either goes to the right, negative 3, kind of diagonally to positive 3, or down to 1 third, the fraction. So the answer was positive 3. So we would shade that one. So let me get my highlighter. And I would highlight this path. Okay. And then you would do this next problem. You would do this one next and pick two ordered pairs. So you could pick whatever numbers you want. Doesn't matter. Okay? And that's how you find slope from a table.